We're here right now at the Palace Center of Peace and Innovation. It's a leading nonprofit and non-government organization focused on developing and implementing unique and cutting edge programs. The center was founded back in 1996 by the late president of Israel, Shimon Peretz, and develops impactful and meaningful programs with a focus on promoting a more prosperous Israel, highlighting Israeli innovation, and so much more. So, let's go check it out. So we are in Shimon Peretz's old office, right? Yes. And tell me a little bit about what he started here, the center, the nonprofit organization. Sure. So in 1996, President Shimon Peretz founded the Peretz Center for Peace. We are a nonprofit peace building organization that focuses on bringing people together through things like education, through sports, culture and the arts, um, medicine and healthcare, business and entrepreneurship, environment, innovation. So oh. tons of different yeah, topics. Definitely. Yeah. And the organization was founded in 1996. So, you know, if you think back to the context of what was going on, there was a lot of tension between people. And so President Perez kind of took a look around and said, you know, there need to be civil societies, you know, grassroots organizations on the ground, motivating people. And so he created this organization to be that voice, to be that civil society. So we have our programs that are focused more on children and youth, so education. Um, one of our flagship programs is our Twin Peace Sports Schools program that uses soccer to bring kids together. He knows noticed that a lot of groups and, and delegations that were coming to visit him were saying, you know, we see the old Israel, you know, we go to Yad Vashem, we see the wall, but where's the startup nation? You know, where is that vibrant, amazing Israel of today? And so he wanted to create a place to showcase Israeli innovation over the years. What I think is actually so interesting is that we're standing in his actual office with mm -hmm. all of the artifacts that he has, with all of yeah. the medals that he has. And the fact that he has his Nobel Prize mm -hmm. standing right there, his Medal of Freedom from Obama over yes. there. It's just absolutely amazing. This thing is heavy, let me tell you, and I can't believe we're touching it. Like, Obama gave us to him. Yeah. I remember that moment. Yeah. I, I really, really do. I would love to go look around the center and For kind sure. of check everything out. For sure. Let's go. So this is the lobby. When people first come in, there will be a video rolling that gives a little taste for what they'll be seeing throughout the visitor center. So this is the second room that we are walking into, right? Mm -hmm. And <laughs> this is crazy. Are you guys just kind of having a conversation yeah. with different innovative people? You know what? USB. I used you a lot, sir. You're the person that invented the USB. So you guys saw me before in the real Shimon Peretz's office, and this is the replica, because not everybody gets a sneak peek inside there. So these are the 100 milestones throughout Israeli history, and you use these uh, circles to scroll onto a specific Thing. This is from the personal collection of Dov Moran, who invented the USB flash drive. This is ICQ. We all have nostalgia for ICQ. And this is so old school. It's such a throwback. You, the computer screen, the, the keyboard. I love this place. You know, you get to learn so much about Israel, about Israeli high tech, about Israeli culture. This like makes me even more proud to be Israeli. I can't even explain it. <laughs> yeah. And here we showcase 45 current Israeli startups. They competed to be showcased on this floor. We had about 300 applications. This is a startup called Hargol, which has figured out how to reduce the incubation period of grasshoppers from 40 weeks to two weeks. They are a great source of protein. They are kosher and halal. <laughs> she's serious. And I'm very serious. No, she's, she's, she's serious. And if you would like to taste a grasshopper, feel free. I'll, I'll eat one if you eat one. Promise? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's do a wing. So, uh, li, 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 li. They're extremely dead. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. Fine, okay. fine, 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 fine. Let's do, All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm not even going to tell you and pretend this tastes good. It's salty. It's a little there, salty. There's a wing somewhere in my mouth. There is a wing in your mouth. Yes. It sticks to your mouth a bit. I just did that. You're welcome, Abba. Can you cry for a third time in the show? Like, I don't think that's possible. Mm -mm. For me, this really embodies Israeli innovation. It is an initiative uh, of the Israeli education system where they brought together 1,000 Israeli students and said, go to the moon. 
literally figure out how to get to the moon. This is the Israeli moon lander. Israel is now the fifth country to have landed on the moon. Wow, and this here is you go. amazing. And this yeah. is what happens when you literally just put an idea out yes. there. This is a chip that they actually implant in the back of your eye for those who have um, degenerative diseases in their eye. Um, and then it actually allows the glasses that you wear to show what your eye is seeing. So it helps people who are going blind see. So this is definitely life changing. So the visitor center was envisioned and initiated by him, but of course he didn't get to see it you know, finalized. He's very much here with us. His values, um, his goals, his beliefs that we translate into concrete action. We very much still feel everything that he kind of imparted to us. Um, there is a sense of, you know, missing him. Right. Um, he was here in this office, you know, every day. We definitely feel him being in this, in this office right now. Yeah.